Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. Today is a Photoshop tutorial on how to create some advanced boxes going down the pages. Uh, if we kind of go back to one of my previous tutorials, I um, in fact covered this as you see here. If you can't have a look at the thumbnail, you probably can't. In fact, it'd be just as good to look at my background. You see I've got some boxes going on the outside. It's kind of the new thing that's coming in. And um, I made a tutorial on that, but it wasn't really that advanced. So I kind of got a few messages saying, oh, how do you make more advanced ones? So I'm going to be touching on that today. So uh, first of all, um, I would probably be handy if I actually had a Photoshop started up. Like so. One second. Uh, it's kind of a bad bad start there. Not even having Photoshop up. Anyway, there we go. Uh, just popping up now. Any second, and here we go. So I'm just going to go to File New, and it doesn't matter what properties I'm going to use for this tutorial because you'll most likely have the background template. And uh, first things first, I'm going to unlock this layer by double clicking and hitting Enter. And I'm just going to drag a square. Now I'm going to, this is going to be I'm going to be using this square as if it's the margin. So if you see this kind of black box here with the blue, I'm going to be saying this this is in correlation with this white. It won't be white much longer. The red, the red rectangle here, going vertical down the page. In fact, I'll have it a bit dark grey, like so. So that's the middle of your YouTube background, just so you can kind of relate it a bit better. See what, see what it will look like. Also, if you're not sure for, not sure what I'm talking about, maybe skip to the end of the video uh, to kind of get a better understanding. But yeah, going to make file new, and we're going to drag that layer underneath the other layer this rectangle cube so it'll kind of show behind it. So I'm just going to go to the square again. I'm going to change the color to a gray just so I can see it originally. And I'm going to draw out kind of a rectangle shape like so. And I'm going to drag that under. There we go. And I'm going to right click and go to rasterize layer. And then you want to go to edit, transform and perspective. Now you just want to go to the top one and just drag it this way. And this is kind of a quick way how to get the kind of diagonal box look. So something like that's looking good. Uh, as you notice, it does decrease the size by a lot. So just go to Edit Free Transform. Feel free just to make it that little bit bigger. There we go. In fact, that's got a little white. So maybe just a little bit further up. There we go. And if we just right click, go Actual Pixels, you'll see that this is. This is exactly how it will show. So that's how big it will actually be on your YouTube background. But for this, for this purpose, I'm going to zoom in a bit just to kind of understand it a bit better. And uh, you notice how it's just plain grey. But um, we're going to get to the layer styles later. As uh, that, that's the bit that comes after. So we're going to make a new layer above that. And we're going to add a new square. In fact, no, we'll add a new square. Just want to. I'll draw the proportion, something like this. Okay. In fact, I'll change the colour. I'll change it to a light light yeah, lighter grey, just so you can see the the difference. So I'm just gonna start in this corner here and drag it out, try and keep it even, like so. And that is it. And then what you want to do is you want to right click on that layer, go to rasterize layer. And you'll do exactly the same process. We're going to edit, transform, and perspective. In fact, I did on the wrong layer. So I'm going to go make sure it's on this layer here, shape 3, and go to edit, transform, and perspective. And we're just going to do exactly the same. One thing I like to do is I like to drag it to the bottom just so you can kind of see the same angle. So it kind of looks like, well, look, obviously look a lot better. As opposed to a completely different angle, as you see, it needs to be. A bit more steeper so just get it until it's kind of parallel and that's looking good do it and click OK and uh, one thing I'm not liking I like it I think I find it's a bit too kind of wide so I'm just gonna go back to this bottom layer this dark gray layer. I'm just gonna hit right on the keyboard just so it kind of makes it more narrow more streamlined and um, the shape 3 layer here I'm also going to go to Edit, Transform, and I'll go to Free Transform, in fact. And I'm just going to make this smaller. Like so. A bit more smaller. As you see, the angle does mess up. 
So it's going to go to edit, transform, and perspective again. And we're just going to kind of decrease the scale. And that is step one. You know, make sure you line it up correctly. But no, that is step one. So then hit Control J on your keyboard and hold Shift so it kind of stays in, stays in alignment and drag it up like so. And then Shift again. I mean, Control J again and hold Shift, drag it up. Like so. Control J once more time. Hold and Shift. Drag it up. And there we go. Click off that layer there, you see that we have we have this kind of carbon look. I tell you what, is that the top layer? That is. Then click Control J, hold shift, and just drag it up just so you can kind of see a little bit of a corner bit so it doesn't look like it's fading pretty pathetically. But that's how to kind of create this kind of look. Now one more thing, you notice it looks a bit plain. It's really got a character to it. I'm just going to add some layer styles. So on this one here, we're just going to go, and go to gradient overlay, not pack gradient overlay. I'm clicking on the wrong thing. It's just on the computer. And they're going to change. You're going to have two dark grays. Uh, I'm all for gradients as opposed to like a solid color, even if it's almost the same. There we go. I'm going to go to outer glow. I'm going to change it to a black. So you need to make well blend mode to normal and then black. If you change it to black and you have it on the screen, uh, kind of screen cancels out the black. So you need to make sure you've got it on normal. And I'm going to have stroke. Uh, the stroke being a lightish grey. Change it to the inside. And just lower the size down to 1. And that's looking quite nice. In fact, we'll add a bevel and emboss there. We'll decrease the black. You don't want any black shown. And the angle. Just mess around with the angle, you know. Something that looks nice. Just a case of trial now. That's looking something, something like that. 120 degrees. And there we go. So we've got the magnifying glass. Go to actual pixels. You see, this starting to look more like a lot more better. A lot more better. Oh, that's really bad grammar. Anyway, it's starting to look a lot more. It's looking better anyway. So now we're going to move on to these layers. So if you see, just had a color overlay. You can see that you kind of monitor in the bottom one there. So it's going to add a color overlay. We're going to change it to a lighter gray, but maybe not as light as it actually normally is. We're going to go to an inner glow, yes, inner glow, normal, and change it to a black again. Maybe add a stroke. Do the same what we did before. Change it to a white, size to one, and have it in the center. Should we have a center or inside? Have on the inside, looking good. Then you may want to crank up the um, inner glow just a bit because it kind of doesn't go past the white. There we go. What does a bevel and emboss do? What does that look like? I'm just testing it out here. I oh, know yeah, that'll change everything, won't it? Oh, that's quite good actually. Yeah, we'll click OK. Now once you got that done, actual pixels. Just go to right click, go to copy layer style, uh, paste layer style, and just kind of paste them on every other, every, other, every one of the different things. Maybe that stroke is kind of too white. You know, maybe it looks a bit tacky. It does look a bit tacky if you ask. If you ask for my expertise, that is. So go back on stroke, maybe change the white to a kind of darker grey like so and tell you what I'll just right click copy layer style again you should really kind of verify it first you know oh Christ what have I done right click copy and just paste them on again now uh, the, the copy and paste layer style is a really good feature uh, it's kind of simple but Without it, you'd have to get everything right, and it'd, it'd just be hard work. But now that's how to kind of create the advanced boxes, going down a page, you know. I'm not going to kind of go into more depth than that, because uh, there'll just be kind of copying other backgrounds. It's all about using it in your own way, you know, try and not do exactly the same as someone else. 
But no, that's all from me. Thanks for watching this video. I hope maybe learn so then if you're not going to use a tutorial, you know, maybe use some tips for uh, another project or something you got going on. But no, that's all from me. Uh, I'm Connor with Chrome Designs. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.